Hello, fellow fellow warriors. Welcome back to Fancy and Greg here. And today I have for you proof most people do not like new entertainment. We're going to go over a little bit of an article here that came out a while ago. Some of you guys might have seen this covered here on the YouTube and whatnot, but I have not covered it. And I decided, yes, I want to cover this. Uh, so I'm going to break it down for you guys. So we'll pop up this article here. It says the top stream shows are almost all old and why? I think this article uh, is relevant to uh, where we are with entertainment today, and I think it proves that most people, probably everybody really doesn't like new entertainment, but I also think they missed the point on why. They do make some good points on why people watch the older shows, but I don't think they understand exactly why. But let's go over this real quick. We'll get into it. It says uh, from Next Star here, the most streamed show last year wasn't the latest Netflix reality TV show craze. Who cares? Nor was it the highly anticipated final season of Succession. I've never seen heard of Succession. I I think people like it. I don't I don't know. Don't not for me. I said the debut or the debut of Last of Us. I don't care. According to Nelson, uh, the most minutes last year, more than 57 billion were spent watching Suits, a legal drama that premiered 12 years prior. And as we scroll down here, it says that Meghan Markle is the reason for Suits is why they uh, think. I think maybe, maybe, but also I think people were just really like the show for some reason. Uh, I think it's because of the two male leads as well. Uh, maybe people got interested because of Meghan Markle, but I don't know. Anyways, um, <laughs> it continues, it says, old shows which debuted over a decade, a decade ago dominated the top stream list of 2023. Several of the programs, including Suits, Gilmore Girls, and Friends, have been off the air for years. According to Nelson, the most stream-acquired shows of 2023 were, and here's the top 10 uh, by rank, and it says Suits, Bluey, NCIS, Grey's Anatomy, Coco Melon, The Big Bang Theory, Gilmore Girls, Friends, Heartland, and Supernatural. Now, I'll be honest with you, a lot of those shows I don't really like, and I don't I don't care for. Uh, I do like Supernatural, actually. I, I, that is a show I actually own. Uh, uh, most of the blue, the whole series, I believe, <laughs> um, because I actually I dug that show. It's it, you know, it's not for everybody. I dug it, uh, especially in the beginning. Um, but that's interesting. See, you see all these old shows. Um, now let's scroll down here where it talks about this. It says many of these shows also have a persistent nostalgia factor, which is true. The New York Times recently described Gilmore Girls as an endless buffet of TV comfort food. I've never really watched Gilmore Girls, so I don't know. And then it talks about how fans of Friends uh, found comfort in it, especially after Matthew Perry's death, which I agree. That's probably why most people have gone back to Friends here lately as well. Now, uh, this is where this part of the article is where I really wanted to touch up base on and give some of my thoughts because the first part I think uh, is spot on. And then the second part of this article here, the second paragraph down, is where I think they miss it. So it says, Watching something comforting can take away the stress involved in infinite choices at our disposal and the consequential energy drain. Psychologist Sabrina Romanoff, PhD, told Well Plus Good, and that is true. That is why we watch entertainment. We watch entertainment to take our minds off of things, to uh, relax, so to be entertained, to, to just, uh, you know, take away the day and just in, pop, pop something on and just enjoy, right? Enjoy. And that's, I don't think you get a lot of that with new entertainment today. Now, here's where I think they really missed the point of why. Uh, they're, they're, I think they're focusing on the wrong reasons here. It says, old shows have ha, also have another advantage over new content when it comes to streaming minutes. In fact, they call it content is what, another reason why they miss this, because it's not content. Uh, <laughs> anyways, it says, their libraries are so much larger. That's why people watch these shows. These libraries are so much larger. They're only one, uh, one season of the huge HBO hit the last of us only one season but there are 21 seasons of ncis and 19 seasons of Grey, Grey's anatomy there's just more minutes to binge watch so that's why people watch old shows there's just more of it that's why it is i mean the last of us only has one season it's huge but you know if it had 20 seasons more people would binge it which there probably is some truth to that probably 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 but you know what i find funny is because uh i think the last of us may end up uh faltering and possibly uh fail in its second season, because uh, I think most the, here's the thing, like with that, when people see something like that, uh, most people that actually watch that are not fans of the game. And I think I'm really interested to see people's reaction once they get to the second season of Last of Us, because I know they're going to stick closely to the game. And I know there was a 
big backlash against the game. And I think once you put that on a wider audience, especially people who don't know the game and who have maybe come to like certain characters in this show. And then when it gets to the big moment in the second season of what's going to happen to a certain character and what happens at the end, uh, cause I understand they're going to stick very faithfully to the second uh, game. So I think there's going to be a big, big backlash of last of us. And I think you're going to see just more people binging Gilmore girls and Grey's anatomy and NCIS uh, for various other reasons, besides they have a, a huge library. I think uh, most people watch these older shows because uh, they're non-political. I mean, some in some cases they are political. They're, they're a lot of them aren't message driven. A lot of them started at a time before uh, messages were fully enforced into things they, before entertainment became content. I think a lot of people watch these because they're just fun and entertaining, and like entertainment used to be. Uh, and uh, now, as for like like the things like with Coco Melon, that's which I think this also proves my point because like Coco Melon is for kids about people not like newer entertainment because it also um, I mean like if you want to go over to the top 10 shows uh, that are now you know that are being streaming of new shows which is interesting because you'll see a lot of shows that, that are on this list uh, some of the newer shows that they keep touting especially like those Marvel Disney shows aren't really so good like like the top 10 new shows here are Ted Lasso which I've heard is really good actually The Night Agent I've never heard of it Jenny and Georgia never heard of it Virgin River never heard of it Love is Blind never heard of it Tom Clancy's Jack Ryan I have heard of that Gabby's Dollhouse, never heard of that. The Mandalorian is actually number eight. Number nine is Outer Banks, never heard of it. Number 10, The Lincoln Lawyer, which I have heard of. But you notice there's no She-Hawk. There's no Rings of Power. There's no Rings of Power on this list. And I'm honestly, I'm surprised uh, Reacher isn't on this list. But this is from 2023, Reacher, uh, the new season just came out. So that that that's funny. But this, I think, also proves my point here about... Um, why most people don't like new entertainment it says the most dream movies. Meanwhile, were Moana and Encanto, both uh, animated features on Disney plus uh, that were released in 2016 and 2021. That is the case of like, that tells you who is actually streaming because most of these streaming services are bought by parents and uh, they're just like, uh, what can we do to keep our kids occupied? Which is actually a really bad thing to do is like, here, just put on Mo Moana, Coco Melon and Encanto, let them watch that. And then the parents later that night when they put the kids to bed, they go back and watch the old stuff. So <laughs> I think that proves my point. And I, I can't, I don't have the numbers on movies, but I would assume it's probably a little closer on movies as well to older entertainment movie. But to me, yeah, I get it. Some of those shows I'm not into and everything, but to me, this is another reason why physical media is important as well and why older entertainment, I think, is so much better and so much more important. I actually grabbed some of my TV shows off my shelf here for you guys because I am a bit of a physical media channel and I like sharing these with you guys. So I don't know if you guys remember this show. I just got the the, the here, uh, Wings, season one and two. I have the whole se the rest of them over there. But, you know, uh, I, love the, I love the show Wings. It was uh, sort of Cheers-esque and I love Cheers. And so I just figured I'd grab that and this is something I like to revisit. I really, I dug the show Cheers. And it get, brings me back to a time when it was funny as a sitcom. It's like a funny sitcom that I really loved and enjoyed. And it, it doesn't really get political. And it just has some great moments and great characters. And that's what I, and great stories. And that's what I love. Uh, and then also I have um, Miami Vice. I loved Miami Vice. It was a great 80s show. It's just the feel of it, the look of it, the way it portrayed the characters. I mean, Don Johnson, I mean, it was awesome. This whole show is awesome. And this is actually, uh, uh, you know, just like a timeless show that people still talk about today. Came out in the 80s. People are still talking about Miami Vice. I mean, I mean, it's it's awesome. It's amazing. I love it. Miami Vice, guys. Miami Vice. And then also one of my favorite shows that I love, and you guys know, it's like Lois and Clark. I have all the Lois and Clarks. As a matter of fact, I think I have every TV show of Superman that was ever made on DVD or Blu-ray. Uh, so, yeah. So, there's. A, I love Lois and Clark. This is something that takes me back when I get, you know, I just, it, I just want to pop it in. It may, yes, it may be a little cheesy. It may be a little... Date it. It may not be hip with the lingo in today's busting language, whatever. I don't care. It takes me back and it's fun to watch and I have a good time watching it. And you know what? It's better than most of the crap that's on today. I don't care if it's cheesy dated or out, uh, you know, whatever. It's just to me, it's fun. I watch it. I enjoy it. I have fun with it. And this last one here, uh, I had to bring on a little horror stuff, you know, guys. Look, Tales from the Crypt, the complete series. And I don't believe this is actually streaming anywhere. Personally, I do not think this is streaming anywhere. Uh, uh, if it is, let me know. But I don't believe it is. Not even on HBO Max, which this was a, a HBO show. 
This was an HBO show, one of the staples for years on HBO. It is not streaming on, H on Max, HBO Max, whatever you want to call it. And this was one of my favorite shows. I love the Crypt Creeper. Uh, he's hilarious. The, the shows were great. They were cheesy. They were fun. They the easy comics. I love it. This is another reason why I love old entertainment and physical media. And I think uh, that article proves that most people prefer older entertainment. It comfort, it brings them comfort. It brings them a sense of nostalgia that they love and, and takes them back to when entertaining was entertainment. Because sometimes, you know what? People like to sit down after a hard day's work or dealing with their kids or after college, class, whatever. They like to sit down to kick off their boots and watch something that makes them laugh, that makes them cry, that makes them think, that, uh, that provides drama for them. And they don't necessarily need to be, uh, you know, political message driven content gobbledygook which i think that's what we get today and, and uh i mean it's obvious from the list of the shows that are that people are going back and streaming and the list of the new shows that are people going on uh you know i think for the most part i think this proves that modern entertainment is it sucks it sucks and I, most people prefer the older stuff because it's 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 just better even if it even if the you know it's outdated and uh the norms of people are, are different, whatever you want to say to me. I don't care. It's fun. It's entertainment. I love it. And I will I will continue to watch older stuff and buy older stuff and uh, enjoy, enjoy it that way because there's not really much new stuff I care for, to be honest. There's really not. Um, but what do you guys think about this? Do you guys think this proves modern entertainment sucks and that most people just don't care and they'd rather watch their old favorites because – it takes them back. It entertains them. It takes them away from the world. They don't want to watch the news and then watch the news on the programs. You know, they want to be entertained and taken away. Uh, let me know what you guys think about all this in the comment section down below. And if you liked what you saw here, maybe consider hitting that like button or subscribing and hitting that bell for notifications. That would be awesome if I earned your guys at subscriptions or possibly share the video out for everybody to see or join and become a channel member because that would help out my channel immensely. Thank you and shout out to all my channel members. I appreciate each and every one of you guys. Thank you for all your support and always having my back and being channel members here. And to everybody watching, whether you like me, hated me, or liked this video, or hated this video, I thank you for sticking this long. Wherever you all are, please have a great, safe, happy, healthy day, morning, afternoon, evening, and night. Always support physical media. It truly is the superior format. And support, you know, real good classic entertainment. <laughs> Godspeed.